Hello everyone, my name is Ellen the Mozafarian and I am back with another episode of Bookends. Today I will be reviewing Of Women and Salt by, oops, sorry, by Gabriela Garcia. This one took me a little bit longer than I expected to read, but I am super excited to be talking about this book today. So let's go ahead and jump into the review. <laughs> Salt is Gabriela Garcia's debut novel, which came out in March of last year. The plot centers mainly on Jeanette, the daughter of Cuban immigrants and a recovering addict, as well as her mother Carmen and her next door neighbor Anna, who comes home from the babysitters one day to discover that her own mother has been deported. And so she end up, ends up spending a couple of days with Jeanette before immigration agents eventually come to pick her up as well. The story, however, does not unfold in a linear fashion. Instead, what Garcia does is that she jumps between the perspectives of several different narrators, all of whom are female, including Anna's mother, Jeanette's mother, Jeanette's cousin, Jeanette's grandmother, and her great-great-grandmother. By the end of the novel, Garcia is able to tie together the stories of all of these women in a way that is both shocking and deeply satisfying. So I'll definitely be giving this book a five out of five stars for several reasons. The first is that it was interesting from the first page to the last page. One of the reasons or one of the things that made it interesting is the fact that Garcia, who is also a poet, writes in this very beautiful, fluid prose. Another thing is that each of the narrators are strong, complete, complicated, fully developed female characters. Lastly, there are a number of plot twists throughout the novel, which propel the reader forward and which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, the only thing that I can think of that would be a deterrent for some readers would be the fact that this story is told in a non-linear fashion and that in order to facilitate that, Garcia jumps backward and forward in time. Um, I honestly don't consider this to be a very large barrier though. I think it's very minimal, especially when you consider the fact that Garcia starts each chapter by listing the narrator, the location, and the year that that chapter takes place. Overall, the themes that evolve focus on mother-daughter relationships, marital abuse, immigration policies and detention, and substance abuse, just to name a few of the things that this novel touches on. So one of the things that I like about this book is that it offers a very unique and nuanced perspective, as well as telling that story through an innovative narrative structure. I would definitely recommend that you go and pick this book up if you haven't read it already, or check it out from your local library as long as you are over the age of 18 years old. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I would love to read your feedback in the comments and I hope that you guys have a prosperous and blessed rest of your week.